Hello all, this is uh, Nate Tate, the insurance guy. It's Medicare season, or annual enrollment, if you prefer the official term. Today I want to talk about how to avoid and also how to overcome Medicare fraud. I've got a story to share, um, with permission, as examples of how Medicare fraud can take place and how to overcome it. So a red flag that I run into every so often is when I hear someone describe a Medicare agent as persuasive. Now there's nothing wrong with persuasion, but the ideal descriptor of a good Medicare agent is that they're educational and or thorough. So I had talked with a lady who had already decided on a plan for next year and a persuasive agent had gotten her signed up. Her daughter, who was a client of mine, felt concerned, but she couldn't really explain why. But the two of them had landed in my office just to double check. Now it didn't take long to figure out what had happened. The lady had been on a Medicare supplement plan, but the persuasive agent had convinced her to switch to an Advantage plan. Now I wanna be clear about something here. I am not saying that Advantage plans are bad and that supplement or Medigap plans are amazing. Half my Medicare clients are on Advantage plans and half are on supplement plans. Not only that, but I had signed someone else up for that exact same Advantage plan earlier that day. So where I'm going with this is that a Medicare agent's job is to find the coverage that's the best fit for your needs. People have different needs and thus there are different Medicare products. So back to the story, it didn't take too long to learn that the agent this lady had spoken to hadn't done any work to find out what her needs were. Did he ask you about your health? Well, no. Did he look up your medications to see how much you might have to pay next year? No. Did he check to see if your doctors were in the network? And again, it was a no. And her daughter asked her, well, mom, why would you switch? And what her mom essentially said was, well, I'm paying $160 for my supplement plan and $20 a month for my prescription plan. With this Advantage plan, I'm paying zero. So right there, I'm saving 180 a month. And on top of that, I get a gym membership and a Part B give back on this Advantage plan. So I'm not only saving 180, but I'm making another 75. Now, understand everything that she said was true, and I'm even maybe persuasive to you right now. And I also wanted to remind you that I had signed someone else up, someone else up for that very plan earlier the same day. So what was the problem? Well, we went ahead and we checked her doctors. It turns out that one of the two specialists that she saw for her chronic condition was not in network. Additionally, the plan she was now signed up for had an out-of-pocket maximum that she would certainly wind up meeting because of her chronic condition, a total of $6,000. Her prescriptions also weren't as well covered under this Advantage plan, and the difference would be that she'd pay an extra $1,200 in medication cost over the course of the year. So let's do some math here. With the premium savings on the Advantage plan and the Part B give back, she was making approximately $255 a month or $3,060 for the year. However, she was losing $7,200 more in medical and prescription costs, and that means that she had a net loss of $4,140. And you have to add to that the fact that she wouldn't be able to see one of her longtime doctors anymore. Now, thankfully, we were able to cancel the Advantage plan and I also ran her medications for the next year, hadn't done that yet, and found a prescription plan that was a little less in premium and also saved her a little more on her medications. So we got that switched over without issue and thankfully the day was saved. Now, in conclusion, I hope you take away three things from this. First, make sure you have an agent who asks about your health needs, asks about your doctors, checks your medication costs. They should be able to show you directly why, why a plan is a fit to your needs. Secondly, maybe you or someone you know has already worked with an agent who didn't do this. It's not too late to fix that. Get someone else in there, don't be ashamed to call and say you might need a second opinion. And finally, report manipulative agents. They either need retraining or they need to be in a different business. If they did it to you, then they're gonna do it to others. That's the end of this video. Uh, please like and share so as to educate others. And if I can be of help to you, please reach out to me at 913-633-4609. Or you can go to my website, natetateintheinsuranceguy.com. Take care and have a fantastic day.